So for our first um, problem that we're going to do today, um, we're going to look at log base 4 of um, the quantity x plus 3 plus um, the log base 4 of x, and that has to equal 1. Now, the first thing I'm going to notice is, I don't know if you remember this property, but this is the same as the product of this times this. So I'm, because they're the same base, I can combine them by saying that this is the same as the log base 4 of the quantity x times x plus 3 um, is equal to 1. And then if I distribute this through the parentheses, I get that this is the log base 4 of x squared plus 3, and that whole thing equals 1. Now, if I look over here, there's this relationship between the exponential form and the logarithmic form. In other words, I can rewrite my logarithmic form in uh, an exponential form and then solve the equation. So let's try that. So my base is 4, right? So I'm going to say 4 raised to my exponent. So the exponent is actually the value. So my exponent in this case would be 1. So 4 raised to the 1 is equal to x squared plus 3. So now I can solve this equation by uh, 4 to the 1 is just 4. And let me move, I'm going to, um, let me move this out of the way here. Let me move this down a little bit. Um, this is the same as saying um, 4 is equal to x squared. Um, plus 3. And so I'm going to subtract 4. Oops, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Actually, wait. Let me let me let me think that through for a second. Actually, I'm going to do something different. Um I thought I had to solve a quadratic equation, but you know what? I could just do this. I could just subtract 3 from both sides. This is a minus 3. And when I do that, I get 1 uh, equals x squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, the square root of 1 is actually just 1, and that is equal to x. So we're going to focus on the principal root, and that's the answer, x equals 1. So these problems are kind of rigged up, so you can use that property. Um, but in a couple more problems, we're going to talk about using exponentials as an inverse of a log function. Um, but that's how you get the solution for this particular problem.